I think uh, this is a movie to see it on a big screen because um, the fights, the action, you know, you want to see that up close and personal. You want to feel, and, you know, every punch. You want to hear every, you know, impact, you know, every, 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 you know, drip of sweat. I'm not sure how much convincing audiences needed to get up close and personal with an often shirtless Michael B. Jordan, but the actor turned director this time around has been everywhere promoting Creed 3 over the last few months to ensure it landed a punch at the box office. Well, it didn't just pack a punch. It delivered a knockout. Rocky who? The third film had the biggest debut of the series with $58 million, and once again knocking out the concept that black films don't travel. The film grossed $100 million globally in its opening weekend. After liking the Creed Movie Instagram account's new poster promoting its global reach, Michael shared it on his own Instagram story and thanked audiences for showing up. The film also had the biggest opening ever for a sports film. Tessa Thompson shared that news on her Instagram story, simply adding, Wee! I think when we first started, the first one, we didn't know what these films would be. And now that they're their own franchise and standalones is really, I, I still like relish that. Tessa shared some of the tongues out photos she snapped with her on-screen hubby across the trilogy, writing, Here's to almost a decade of making this face and films together. Congrats on a stellar opening weekend of Creed 3, Michael B. Jordan. Beyond proud of you. If you haven't seen it yet, do. And Michael commented, Love you so much. Thank you for being there every step of the way. That's not you. I'm sharing with y'all too. All right, cheers. On Friday, the film's opening day, Michael posted the montage from the LA premiere a week prior, writing, Cree 3, now playing in theaters. What city are you watching from? Issa Rae answered that question in the comments, writing, LA. In the montage, Michael included the moment when he posed on the red carpet with the previous directors of the franchise. He also posted the photo of that moment with Ryan Coogler and Stephen Keeble Jr. with the caption, Trilogy. Stephen posted the photo on his own Instagram, writing, The legacy continues, with Michael commenting with the emoji, like that's like the exhaling emoji like i know obviously this is supposed to be a positive comment that michael is like writing so i just don't get like what it means like, like it's supposed to be like there's been a lot of work or i don't know what that means <laughs> in that context but yeah obviously it's positive but yeah michael exhaled in the comments i don't know after writing and directing the first round in 2015 then completely sitting out the second round ryan coogler was back as a producer and got story credit for number three I was just proud of him all. Back in November, Ryan told Collider that even after just seeing a rough cut of the film, he was very impressed by Michael's first take behind the camera. I was filled with um, a lot of pride for, for, for Mike, uh, for Jonathan, for, for Tessa, my baby brother who, who, who wrote the script. I was filled with a, with, a, with a deep, 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 deep sense of pride. Now, I couldn't help, I'm sure you can't help it either, thinking about Sylvester Stallone in this whole situation. Like, I don't know how he's gonna feel about the fact that the first film in the entire Rocky or Creed franchise that he isn't in just delivered the biggest opening ever at the box office. He can't feel great about that. I'm not saying that he wanted to see the film bomb, but he must have mixed emotions about that a little bit. What did you think of Creed 3, and are you surprised at his record-breaking numbers? I haven't seen it yet, and I know I'm ashamed of myself too that I haven't, but I will be seeing it very, very soon. But yeah, I wanna hear your thoughts first.